Welcome to my next tutorial. Today I will cover generator functions, generator objects and generator expressions. Let's start first with generator functions and generator objects. A generator function also called resumable function is just like a regular function in Python. But instead of return statement it has one or more yield statements. And when you call a generator function it returns an iterator object which is also known as generator object or more commonly called a generator. So in a nutshell a generator function has one or more yield statements instead of return statements and when you call it it returns an iterator object also called generator object or simply generator. An iterator in python is an object that supports the iterator protocol which basically means its class must define two special methods iter which returns itself and next which returns the next value every time the built-in function next is invoked on it. I have covered these special methods in one of my other tutorials. Let's see an example to understand the generator functions and generator objects. In this example I have created a generator function which returns Fibonacci sequence. A Fibonacci sequence is a sequence of numbers in which each number is a sum of two numbers before it. Now in main when I call the generator function like I do call regular function it doesn't return the Fibonacci sequence but a generator object. A generator object can be used in a for loop or with built in function next as shown in these examples. In this example the for loop executes a generator object and returns the first seven numbers of Fibonacci sequence. Behind the scenes the for loop implicitly calls both magic methods iter and next of generator object because a generator object is an iterator object. You can also call the built-in function next on your generator object and it returns only one Fibonacci number at a time. Each next call makes a generator function run until it reaches the next yield statement. So in this example when I call built-in function next very first time Python executes a generator function and returns a value passed to the yield statement and then suspends the execution of the generator function. The next call to the next function again executes a generator function but right after the yield statement where the generator function was suspended until the next yield statement and so on. When generator is exhausted that is we have reached the termination condition generator raises a stop iteration exception. So compared to a regular function a generator function returns a generator object which returns one element at a time instead of returning a collection of items at once. You can also check the current state of a generator. The inspect module provides get generator state method which returns the current state of a generator. In this example the output gen created means that generator has been created and it is still waiting to be run for the very first time. Whereas the output gen suspended means that generator is currently being suspended and it is waiting for the next call. Again when a generator is exhausted that is it reaches its termination condition a stop iteration exception is thrown by python which indicates that the given generator has no more values. Note the for loop implicitly handles the stop iteration exception. Now the question arises why we need generator functions. The most important advantage of a generator function is that it returns one element at a time instead of returning a collection of items at a time. So a generator function is a good choice if you have very less memory on your computer or you are working with a huge amount of data. If you look at the regular function which also generate Fibonacci sequence you can see this function returns the whole sequence at once and imagine if you want to compute millions of Fibonacci numbers. In that case the regular function will create a static list which then takes a huge amount of computer memory. So using a generator function we are not generating all the elements at once but only when they are required. So that is why generator function is a good approach to work with huge amount of data. Now what are generator expressions? Generator expressions are very similar to list comprehensions and like generator functions generator expressions return a generator object which produce results on demand. Let's first see an example of list comprehensions and why they are useful. In this example I have created a list of even numbers between 0 and 10. If you look at the example I have implemented a for loop and in my for loop I check whether the number is divisible by 2 or not. If yes I call the append method. So inside my for loop I have called the append method 5 times. 
which is not the efficient way to create a list. Now with list comprehensions, I can create the list of even numbers between 0 and 10 only with one line of code. This is not only shorter, but it is also efficient way to create a list, since we don't have to call the append method multiple times. So list comprehensions are shortcut and efficient way to create a list from scratch or by processing the data values contained in another list. List comprehensions also support multiple level of looping, as shown in next example. But Python provides something more efficient, that is known as generator expressions. Unlike list comprehensions where we have used the scare brackets, we use round brackets for generator expressions. In this example, if you compare both outputs of list comprehension and generator expression, you can see that generator expression doesn't create a new list. But like generator functions, it creates a generator object. So generator expression evaluator and iterator that yields one item at a time from the expression. Using the built-in function next, the return iterator can be advanced one step at a time to produce the next output as needed. You can also feed the generator object to a list constructor, which returns a list. It is important to mention that once generator has been exhausted, there is no way to recover the same elements from it again. That is why my list doesn't contain first two even numbers. Similarly, you can also use the for loop. I hope now you have basic understanding of generator functions, generator objects, and generator expressions. Thank you for watching this tutorial and please subscribe my channel for future tutorials.